When the doctor tells you your child has cancer, your world stops. But remarkable advances have occurred in molecular and cell biology over the past 50 years. At the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, we're committed to helping speed the development and availability of new therapies. New technologies like gene and cell therapies hold great promise, especially for the treatment of rare diseases. And possible cures are within our grasp. For instance, in 2017, the FDA announced the approval of the first cell-based gene therapy product in the United States, Kimraya, also known as Tisagen Lucluse Cell. It treats children and young adults for a rare childhood cancer called acute lymphoblastic leukemia, ALL for short. Though it's rare overall, ALL is the most common childhood cancer in the United States, with about 3,100 patients aged 20 and younger diagnosed each year. Kimrai is currently meant for use in the several hundred ALL patients each year whose cancer has not responded to initial treatment or has returned. Can you quickly explain how the drug works? Sure. Childhood ALL is a type of cancer in which too many immature lymphocytes, a type of white blood cell, develop into cancer cells called lymphoblasts. These limit the ability to make the normal cells needed to maintain energy, fight infection, and stop bleeding. To make Kimraya, doctors collect the patient's own T cells and send them out to be genetically modified to include a new gene. That gene contains a specific protein that directs the T cells to target and kill the leukemia cells. The T cells are then infused back into the patient to kill the bad cells. What was your role as a clinical reviewer for this drug? It was my team's job to examine all outcome data from the clinical trial. The results showed that when given at a specialized cancer center, the drug was both safe and effective. Treatment with Kimraya has the potential to cause severe, life-threatening side effects, such as cytokine release syndrome and neurological events. For this reason, it was approved with a risk evaluation and mitigation strategy to assure safe use. This means that hospitals and their clinics must be specially certified to dispense Kimraya, which includes training to recognize and manage the cytokine release syndrome and the neurological events. And the patients in the clinical trial had few, if any, effective treatment alternatives, right? Right. Patients who have failed conventional therapies have limited treatment options. Kimraya has shown promising remission and duration of that remission in early studies in children. The overall remission rate within three months of treatment was 83%. FDA's approval of Kimraya is just the beginning. New technologies like this may pave the way for a healthier future, treating or possibly even curing a variety of previously disabling or lethal rare diseases. And set the world spinning once again. <laughs>